First Business Morning News. Check your local listings for stations and airtimes. Well, speaking of competition, it looks like companies are now trying to outdo themselves, trying to open up their work environment uh, for friendly policies when it comes to gay and lesbian employees as well as consumers. A trend certainly worth watching, according to the Human Rights Campaign, and one that really is, is fascinating, according to the campaign as well. Vigil Patel back with us at the CME with more. Well, Tom, you know, each year the Human Rights Campaign puts out a report that rates companies nationwide according to their policies uh, toward gay and lesbian employees. And the surprising thing this year is that the number of companies that scored, had a perfect score on the index list, uh, increased tenfold since 2002. Boeing, AT&T, Dell, Coca-Cola, Motorola, some of the Fortune 500 companies recognized for going above and beyond and providing equal benefits to gays and lesbians in the workplace. They are among the 138 companies nationwide that received a perfect score of 100 in the 2006 Corporate Equality Index. Also included on that list is law firm Jenner & Block, based in Chicago. You have to make some hay over this issue and you have to raise the issue to management's attention and make a big deal about it and let everyone know it's there so that folks will feel comfortable coming out and being out at a, at a workplace where they feel that they can be there 100 percent themselves. When Gail Morse, a partner at Jenner & Block, joined the firm 10 years ago, it was already offering benefits for domestic partners. But when Jenner started doing this, it wasn't so cool to be gay and it really wasn't something that people focused on. And for us to be a leader on these issues is, is just you know, another example of how we um, really do the right thing and have our heart in the right place and are really trying to do the, you know, a good job for our employees as well as our clients. Companies like Jenner & Block are also reaping the rewards when it comes to the bottom line. It's marketing in dollars. They know that the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community is very loyal and they're very loyal to the companies that they work with and then if a company supports them, that they're there to support the company. Many companies are just now realizing how lucrative this segment is. A recent estimate puts the buying power of the gay and lesbian community at $641 billion this year. It's a huge buying market, and 641 is the direct market, and that doesn't even include the brothers, sisters, mothers, aunts, uncles, which it becomes a multi trillion dollar market. So it is a very large marketplace and, and companies know that and companies are really looking to market towards uh, the gay business. And a recent study shows that more than 70% of the gay and lesbian population will buy products from companies that show their support for them. Tom. It, that's an interesting statistic because it really illustrates kind of the, the twofold nature of this. One, having these friendly policies for workers and the other having the friendly policies for customers trying to attract bigger business. Exactly. Walgreens, for one, uh, was an early sponsor of the gay games. They took some heat for it, uh, but, it but in the end, they saw sales increases at stores in areas with large gay populations. Uh, Boeing, the big aerospace maker, says that it had a, a comprehensive diversity strategy put in place because it wanted to score big numbers on this index, in part because it helps attract the best talent to the company. First Business Morning News. Check your local listings for airtime. It's what's happening today first.